Right there. I'm healthy, happy, in love, going crazy, but I'm also like, I love to live in chaos. So I think um, when there's, if there's no chaos, then I my mind starts to feel chaotic and that's when I start to spin. So if I have a bunch of stuff going on at once, I like somehow thrive in it, it's crazy. to talk to mom. She is like completely freaking out and embarrassing me. It's been 10 years since we first fell in love with Sarah Hyland as Haley Dumphy, the popular but ditzy teenage daughter on ABC's Modern Family. Zach Barbie, born 1986, went to college at a place called MIT. MIT. I know how to spell it. And now, after a wedding, twins, and a whole lot of growing up, Hyland is preparing to say goodbye to Haley as the show launches its 11th and final season. I will probably miss the people the most from Modern. Our crew is amazing. And, you know, of course, I love our cast. They're very special people. But after this is done, I will be turning 30. I started playing Haley when I was 18. Um, so it's really all of my 20s that have been spent in the Dunphy house. And uh, I'm very excited to be able to go out and branch out and do other things. Sarah's first thing will be a new rom-com, The Wedding Year, which hits theaters September 20th. With Modern coming to an end, um, I wanted to, and want, to play characters that are very different from Haley Dunphy. So um, that's why I really loved The Wedding Year. Pre-game or booty call? Neither, dinner. God, you're awful. Thank you. So it's about this girl, Mara, and she doesn't believe in marriage. Her parents went through a very, very, very messy divorce. They do not get along still to this day. She doesn't even like going to weddings, let alone having the commitment of RSVPing to weddings with a boyfriend. That means she has to be with him for the entire year, and that just kind of freaks her out in her head. Oh, what? Come on. Seven weddings in a year. It's gonna be fun. I also executive produced it, which I love producing. That is a passion of mine. It wasn't my first time uh, producing a film, um, but it was definitely, I think, my favorite. Um, I was very heavily involved in the casting process and um, in, in wardrobe and. It was a lot of fun to be able to be behind the camera and be in on those conversations that normally I would not be a part of. Sarah's been thinking a lot about weddings these days on film and in real life. I bought a lot of wedding magazines and started to just like cut out stuff that I like visually uh, and like make vision boards and stuff. I just, um, I don't want to get down to like exactly like this dress or this tablecloth. <laughs> but um, I think what I'm learning the most about all of these wedding magazines are exactly that you have to pick out a tablecloth. Like I did never really think about that. Her fiance, former Bachelorette contestant Wells Adams, popped the question this summer after nearly two years together. I'm not a person that's ever really surprised. And I was somewhat surprised. I wasn't fully surprised. My fiance tried and he was still like, you had a feeling. And I was like, yeah, I, I had a feeling, but um, I don't know. It was just such a special day. And then we just went back to our room and drank all the bottles of wine and FaceTimed our family and, and close friends. Our first date, he asked to hold my purse while we were dancing. And I thought to myself, I think this is the man I'm going to marry. No one has ever asked to hold my purse before. And it just shows that like how comfortable he is in his masculinity. So I really appreciated that since that has never been done for me before by anybody, you know, since I was even like a teenager, every relationship I've had. So I was very caught off guard by it and it just really made me think big picture. We definitely had talked about getting engaged and getting married and I remember, I think it last, Last fall, we had like just moved in together. We had been living together for like maybe three months. And Wells was like, when do you want to be engaged by? I think it's really important for people to have those conversations of how many kids you want, how, where you want to live, what, you, what your year goal, five year goal, 10 year goals are, so that you're not caught by surprise by anything that you're all of a sudden engaged or married and you're like, wait, what? I had no idea that this is what you wanted. So we like to be very open about that.
Wells is the most amazing man I've ever met in my entire life. He's very good at like, like grounding me and like not making me like letting me spin out of control on certain things. But um, uh, we liked to joke when we first started dating that we're the same person with different genitalia, and it's. I think it still rings true to this to this day because uh, we're just so similar that it's it definitely felt like meeting like a kindred soul from a past life. Sarah and Wells originally connected on Twitter while he was competing in JoJo Fletcher's season of The Bachelorette. Well, as we accept this race, thank you. Wells and I had been talking for about I want to say like three or four weeks before we had our first date. So even before we had our first date, I, we both really liked each other, but I, of course, was not going to tell him through text messages over my health issues. So of course I was nervous to tell him to know what his reaction would be. Sarah was born with kidney dysplasia, a condition that prevents normal development of the kidneys in the womb. I think they said, like, you know, you're going to have to have a kidney transplant one day in your life. Hopefully it will be when you're in your 30s, but you, you never know what happens. Turned out, Highland needed a transplant when she was only 21 years old. Her father donated the kidney, but within a few years, Sarah's body rejected it. Definitely when I found out I was in rejection, um, it felt like a sense of like a nice cocktail of guilt, uh, fear, kind of like a hopelessness that comes with it, um, with a touch and dash of anger, um, but also just something that you just need to like, okay, well this is like now a part of your life, just like get used to it. In 2017, Sarah had a second transplant, this time with a donation from her younger brother. Wells and I had two dates before the surgery, and then I was just on uh, massive amounts of painkillers in the hospital, FaceTiming him at all hours of the day and night. <laughs> and he still liked me after that somehow, so um, it definitely brought us closer together, and it forced us to have a relationship that um, was very serious from the start, but also completely not normal uh, because we were not allowed to do certain things. Just health-wise, you know, surgery, can't really do it. So I think that really had us bond on an emotional, intellectual level faster uh, because we weren't able to really have that physical part of the relationship like you normally have in the beginning. So we actually became an official couple before we even were that physical. So it was a first for me. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Today, Highland is healthy, happy, and planning a future with her soon-to-be husband. I like the word hubby. I don't really like the word husband, but I like the word hubby, and I don't know, I'm really excited for us to be able to buy our own house together and to be able to create our home like from scratch. Um, I'm excited to be able to build like our family. Maybe a new puppy? He'll kill me. <laughs> we definitely want kids, um, uh, definitely not now or not within the next couple years, three years. Um, I think we want to be able to enjoy being married and, and traveling the world before uh, we have to start worrying about, you can't really travel the world with an infant, right? <laughs> I'm joking, obviously you can't, unless you're like Beyonce and Jay-Z. But like, um, yeah, I, I, I'm very looking forward to that day, very much so, but I don't think it will be for a little bit. And for now, she's got plenty keeping her busy. Yeah, I have a song out, met at a party with Jordan McGraw, and we had our debut of it at uh, the Teen Choice Awards. Met at a party, and he told me his name. That was my first ever, like, musical performance that wasn't a musical. <laughs> and um, first time singing with in-ears, which I had never done before which was very stressful and scary. In the past uh, really week or two, I've really been able to take a step back and look at 
everything that's going on, especially right now, and be really appreciative and grateful that there is so much going on in my life and there are really amazing things. Um, you say like, wow, I've done so much with my life, which I, I guess I have, but I've always, I'm the type of person that's like, I wanna do so much more. So I'm always like looking forward to like, what can I do next? What can I do better? What, how can I personally be better? Um, so I, I'm just kind of always like crazy when it comes to that. I'm always looking for not the next best thing, um, just like the next best me thing.